Morning, Westfield High School. Today is Thursday, February 16, 2023. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, WHS. I'm Eddie Davenport. And I'm Jordan Marion. A reminder to the following clubs. The yearbook picture will be taken today in CAF B. The Spanish Club, the Jewish Culture and Development Club, the Senior Tech Buddies, No Place for Hate, and the Anime Club, who will be meet in room 2, 123 prior to, go, prior to going to CAF B. Please attend to be part of the photo. Do you have extra reusable bags? The Community Service Club is asking for your donations for the community members of the St. Joseph Social Service Center in Elizabeth. Any number of bags is appreciated. Thank you for your help and support. Do you want to become a teacher? Would you like to get experience teaching in a classroom at an elementary school or middle school? Come to the rescheduled meeting of the Future Educators Club next Wednesday after school in room 190. Attention all youth and government members. All forms are due to Mr. Delaferra by 2 p.m. today. The next meeting will be held after school on February 21st. February is National Cancer Prevention Month. The Student Movement Against Cancer Club would like to remind you that 10% of all cancer may be caused by inherited genetic changes. Know your family history. Paws for a Cause is displaying one animal from St. Hubert's a week to help for their adoption. This is Panda. He is a one-year-old short hair. He loves being around people and is ready to be adopted. If you're interested, head down to St. Hubert's Animal Center in Madison. The Photography Club will be having a meeting today, right after school in room 233, to learn the basics of photography, shutter speed, aperture, and ISO. If you have any questions, please reach out to Dr. Ajiri or Andrew uh, Sakala. Lost and found items have quickly piled up. Please check the main office in the lobby for wallets, jewelry, headphones, water bottles, sweatshirts, jackets, sneakers, and even socks. There are also items that were dropped off by parents with students' names on them that have not been claimed. Please check today if anything may be yours. The items that were maimed will be donated over the long weekend. It's now time for Sports with Michael Cerrotti. Mike? Good morning, WHS. I'm Michael Cerrotti, and here's your BDTV Sports Update. Yesterday, the girls' basketball team dominated Elizabeth 71-38 in the county semifinals, as Paige Gorsica had a career-high 29 points and Sarah Rooney had 18 points and 10 rebounds. The boys' basketball team took a 62-50 loss to Marlboro, despite Theo Sica having his career-high of 29 as well. The boys' hockey team took a tough 7-2 loss to Summit in the McInnes Cup Final. Today at 4 o'clock, the girls' swim team will take on Ridge at the Raritan Bay Y in the sectional championship. Tomorrow is a busy day for the Blue Devils, and it starts with the boys' swim team competing against Bridgewater Raritan at four in their sectional finals. The boys' track and field team will compete in the pre-national invitational tomorrow. The girls' track and field team has the varsity invitational at the Ocean Breeze Complex, and the boys' basketball team will be back to travel to Immaculata at six. On Saturday, at 9 a.m., Wrestling will compete in districts at home. At 2 o'clock, the girls' basketball team takes on New Providence in the Union County Championship at Kane. The girls' and boys' track and field teams will both head to the Bennett Center for the group championships at 3.30. On Monday, the bowling team has the NJSIAA State Final at 9 a.m. And now it's time to take a look at Episode 5 of Cerrote vs. as I hopped in the pool with the swim teams. Here at the Westfield YMCA with Lauren Lane. Lauren, we'll swim to the backstroke. How do you think I'm going to do? Uh, I think you're going to try. But look good, play good, right? Yeah, sure. And I think I look pretty good, so let's just get in the pool. Take your mark. Go! All right, I'll be swimming the breaststroke with Emily Constable. Emily, I've never actually done it before, so what do you think is going to happen? I think it'll be pretty good for you. I mean, I guess we'll see in a little bit. Yeah, should we just go? Yeah, let's just do it.
the last race is the freestyle. It's the only thing that I've ever done. I'll be going up against Abby Beebel. Abby, how do you think I do? I mean, I'm already really tired. I mean, you've, you've done so well so far. Thank you just you. Gotta, gotta keep going, and I think you can do it. All right, I got the goggles off, got the cap off. That was it, I mean, that was really difficult. They're good swimmers. It's a lot more tiring than it looks, but I gave them my all, I had a good time. I didn't do too well, but I enjoyed it. That's all for today's sports report. Back to you, Eddie and Jordan. Thanks, Mike. If you'd like to submit an announcement to be read, please visit the BDTV page on the high school website. Follow us on Instagram at WHSBDTV. Have a great long weekend, WHS, and go Blue Devils.